Let's look at another example of using the fundamental theorem of calculus to, to calculate the net change, that is the, the change of our rate of change. Uh, and this time, let's look at an example where we take marginal costs and compare it to the cost function. So if we know that the marginal cost of manufacturing X yards of a certain fabric is given as C prime of X equals three minus 0 0.01 X plus point, how many zeros is that? Zero point zero 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 six X squared, nailed it. And that's gonna be measuring um, dollars, uh, dollars per yard there in terms of our production. Um, we wanna find the increase of cost from the production level of 2,000 yards to 3,000 or to 4,000 yards. So if we know the marginal cost, marginal cost represents uh, the cost per unit there, in this case, cost per yard. And so if we were to integrate this, that gives us the net change. And so this is the fundamental theorem calculus in action here. Uh, so we wanna figure out what's the cost from going from 4,000 yards to, uh, sorry, going from 2,000 yards to 4,000 yards, it's this difference. Well, we know from the fundamental theorem of calculus that the integral from 2,000 yards to 4,000 yards, if we integrate our marginal cost function, we'll do exactly that. Uh, so putting in the marginal cost there, make sure you get the right number of zeros. There's a lot of those floating around. We get three minus 0 0.01 X plus, well, let's do it, zero, 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 six X squared DX. Uh, well, our antiderivative, even with all these zeros here, is basically the same as we would for any other polynomial. We get a 3x minus 0.01x squared over 2 plus 0.00006x cubed over 3. And evaluate that from 2,000 to 4,000. All right, well, uh, we can simplify some of those coefficients, right? Uh, because we have that two goes into 0 0.01. That'll happen 0 0.005 times x squared. And then point, our three goes into this as well. We're gonna get 0 0.00002 x cubed. Evaluate at 2,000 and 4,000. And so the calculus is really painless in this situation. It turns out, again, with these type of problems, it's always the arithmetic. Uh, we're going to plug in the 4,000 first. Um, and so when we do that, we're going to get 3 times 4,000 minus 0 0.005 times 4,000 squared. And then we get 0 0.000002 times 4,000 cubed. That's the first bit. Subtract from it th 3 times 2,000 minus 0 0.005 times the 2,000 squared plus the 0 0.00002 2,000 cubed right there. And I did position things so that I actually have some like terms combined together if you think of terms of the coefficients. Uh, so we could just, we could compute this as 3, 000, or three times 4,000 minus 2,000. Uh, we're also gonna get negative 0 0.005. We're gonna times this by 4,000 squared minus 2,000 squared. And then lastly, you get 0 0.000002 times 4,000 cubed minus 2,000 cubed. I mean, that can help with the arithmetic a little bit. I mean, again, there's still a lot going on here. Uh, 4,000 take away 2,000, that's easy enough. That's just 2,000 right there. Um, notice you take four squared and you take away from that two squared. Uh, four squared is 16, two squared is four. So 16 take away four is 12. If you kept track of all of the zeros, so you're gonna get a 12 there. Um, 4,000, you got, you ever, I mean, that's, that's where we got three zeros. When you square that, you're going to get six zeros now. So this is going to look like 12 million. And then lastly, let's see if I can fit this in here. So many zeros. Um, this time around, you're going to take four cubed, which is 64, and subtract from it two cubed, which is eight. 64 take away eight is 56. 
And this time you're gonna have nine zeros behind it. So we got 56 billion. Sweet, I filled it in there. And so then again, you can move some of these decimal places around because of the decimals we have there. Uh, three times 2000, of course, is 6000. If you take 12 million times 0 0.005, uh, that's actually gonna give us negative 60,000. Uh, we can move the decimal place a little bit there. And then lastly, if you take the 0 0.000, oh, I think I forgot a zero there. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, there should be five zeros there. 0 0.00002 times 56 billion, uh, that gives you 112,000. And then adding all those together, we end up with 58,000. And so this will be $58,000, uh, which gives us the cost increase of going from 2,000 yards of fabric to 4,000 yards of fabric. And so see, with this one right here, it was the arithmetic that really is the is the problem. Use a calculator, don't be a hero. Um, help you help yourself out there. Uh, but we can use, we can integrate a derivative to try to find the net change of the quantity here. In this case, it was a change of cost.